All right, welcome back. Uh, last time we basically cleared the bulk of the sacred halic tree, or whatever it's called. I gave Melania a try a couple of times. I actually had better luck than I expected, but what I my intention was always to sort of do here her near the do her fight near the end. And, um, you know, that way I have more levels under my belt, et cetera, et cetera. And so part of that was, you know, taking a stab at some, uh, of this level. There's a couple of really irritating things in this level. One, I think there's a dragon that's going to come down here. This is going to go poorly, but since I just blew my... In the past, I just sort of ran by. Maybe it's worth, I mean, I can summon, but usually you want to fight dragons on horseback, and I don't know what that red stuff is that it's launching at me. And dragons are things, like I said, you can sort of mop up at the end if you really want to. There is a dragon here. I'm, oh no, I need to kill. If I want to cure the stuff going on with me because I let the three fingers Hmm. Okay. Uh, I need to beat Melania before I... I mean, I guess I can fight the dragon. I just need to show up at some point. But yeah, th there's a, a bad boss fight here. The Godskin duo. It's a two-on-one. I mean, you can summon. The Godskins are a pain in the butt. And... A lot of people like to use sleep on it. I don't know if this is actually where I want to go. I don't remember this level much at all. I remember there was like uh, one of those knights that sort of jump in the air with the wings and I said, oh man, these things give me trouble. I thought there was one right around here. Maybe not. I don't mean to give anybody vertigo when I do that. I'm just sort of checking for hidden passages. Oh. I don't think I meant to come down here yet. gonna kill me. I was gonna say I, I feel like I've um I mostly avoided fighting these things so far. Okay so this message said first left then seek up so I feel like I Saw it left, but I, did I seek up? It 
seek up. I'm mean, talking about the the roof. I, I guess I did that. That's where I died. I don't think I had a ton of. Okay, I don't think I. I don't believe I had a ton of um, soul, so I don't really care if I lose it. Hoping for a backstab, didn't get it, that's okay. Okay, so the question is how many... I saw one to the left near the pillar, two far left. Is there a third? And the real question is, can I kill this guy before I get maged? Okay. Guess, you know what? I don't think I need to deal with Scarlet Rot, so let's get, uh... And again, it's the one I can never remember. Sorry, there's some guy racing his car outside. There we go. I'm quite ready to... Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm still not ready to take a seat, though. PC stutters. I'm not sure why. Okay, so I have a feeling I took the rooftop to get here, but it seems like you can just well, I guess it's a shortcut, right? You can, um
I kill him before I... Nope. <laughs> Now, I can't remember, did I grab... Well, now that I've died. Nope. Um, let me head back and hand in that bell bearing. I'm very curious. Somber Miner. I bet that's going to be the one that opens up. Okay, so I guess nines are off the table. But I can get everything up to eights. Okay. It's interesting that a Miner's Bell Bearing ended up there. Oops. Uh, let me just see. Do I have a, like, Fire Cleanse Me for... I don't think I need that one right now. So let me take a look at this. And I'm looking for... Is there like a cleanse me of death? No. Hmm. I wonder if this would help with Melania. I could throw this out there while I've got... Tish going. Hmm. Never thought about that. Well, for the time being. Oh, I don't have the intelligence. That's the problem. Wow. Who knew, right? I'm two points too stupid to cast that one. All right. Okay, I'll just keep that one for now. Honestly, I'm more curious of what's around here than A, retrieving my souls, B, fighting any of these guys.
Although I guess at some point it would be good to get those patterns down. I just haven't done it in a while. Again, all these guys seem to weep. Or I guess, aka, you know, learn their <laughs> moves equals just bash <laughs> the Blasphemous Blade. Throwing caution to the wind just a little bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was nice to get that somber nine. Um, then I was just sort of getting greedy and rushing a little bit at the end there, trying to get to the other side. curious when you're supposed to, again, you know, what levels they're thinking you would do this at because of, you know, you get, I mean, you got the nine, but like I'm getting smithing stones, sixes, sevens, like those aren't, Yeah, I guess I saw that ghost there throwing magic. I guess that's one way to approach these. Th I mean, the Blasphemous Blade is ranged battle of a sort. Was there something up here? I thought I saw something. Was it just messages? Um, oh, yeah, no, more. I thought, maybe I thought this was... Uh,
Lance has got the range. Need you to run into this before I die. There we go. That's how you know it's classy when it's gold tinged. Okay, can I make a break for it? You know? Oh, wow. I don't know what the right move is here. Hoping... Wow, that didn't take long. Well, I got the bell bearing, so that's the main thing. Can't tell how Tish is doing against... Seems like he's doing okay. I don't know what we get for beating that. Let me go hand that bell bearing in and see... Uh... I, I, I think I knew there was one here. I didn't realize there was two. So that is good news. So we can get Grave up to 9, Ghost up to 9. I don't know if the pickers give you these or if it's something else. Um, still smithing stones only up to 6. I need 8s for the uh, Sacred Uchikatana, so that's not helping yet. Uh, nope, that's not where I'm going. I think that was the next one. at that dragon, I don't know. So I feel like I've seen people sort of have mixed feelings about this area. I never quite knew what to make of it. Whoop. <laughs> Missoula one me nothing um, I don't think I minded most of it if I'm being honest I did not like the godskin duo fight the dragon fight you know spoiler there's a pretty big dragon fight so maybe that's what that uh, was pointing to although you get to it in a weird way
there's a whoops there's like this graveyard you gotta lie down and not entirely clear why lying down oops I guess it makes sense these things are undead I can just hit <laughs> stupid <laughs> I always thought I remember hearing that, like, holy damage kill these things outright. Like, would my sacred blade just put them down permanently? Remember in uh, Dark Souls, the first one, if you had, like, a, there's a certain club you can get pretty easily. And if you got that club, you could use it in the Nido fight and it would take out any skeleton adds permanently without having to... Oh, I mean, that's it. It would just take them out. I forget what you had to do in Dark Souls. Trying to figure out, did I miss my chance to get up to that platform, or is that just an entirely different avenue and I'm not there yet? I get to him. <laughs> All right, so this is interesting. Let me um let me grab this. I mean, it's not interesting. It's um I think there was a hole. Nope, I can't get back up. There's a hole in the um, in the platform that I didn't take. So let me see. Let me just take a quick peek at that. Is there something? Up there I can do. Oh well. I think what I might do at some point...
Oh, maybe... No? Okay. So if he goes off a cliff, I was about to say, can he come back? And if so, how does that work? Sorry, I need to figure out, um... Nope. Oh, okay. I'm sort of splitting my efforts between this and Black Lodge trivia night. And Black Lodge, the whole reason why this came into being here is because Black Lodge wasn't entirely up and running when I wanted to start sort of figuring this stuff out. And I wanted to start figuring this stuff out partly because I thought it might come in handy for Black Lodge. And I've said in the past, like, you know, I'm doing a Demon Souls run over there. And then I think future, any future Let's Play-ish kind of things I do are going to be there. Um... I'm curious, like, I'm trying to figure out, like, we're getting near the end, right? Part of me is kind of curious what the, like, the final number will be. Uh, and my intention was always to... be ready to go on the DLC on both PS5 and the PC. And, and what that entails is you, you know, once you beat the game, once I beat the game, I don't go to New Game Plus. I stick around and just mop things up. And I think once I beat the game, I'll say, look, you know, like, here's a complete playthrough. Once the mopping up starts, I'll talk to Matt and Patrick. They won't care. But like I said, my intention was always to sort of make whatever Black Lodge became be the role playing stuff. So I might do the mop up and then any future stuff over there. And then go back to letting this be the board games. Even though that's much... F uh, much more rare. Can I hit them from down here? But see.
I guess what I should do is at some point when I'm just swimming in cash, I should um, figure out, like, did I buy everything I could from, like, the, the turtle pope? Um, is there other stuff? Like, I feel like I'm light on the faith incantations if I'm going to stick with this. All right, with one left, can I just trip him by running under him? Okay. No, there we go. nervous about those blood stains, but I feel like, yeah. I feel like I've sort of circled back, right? Did I not? Double tagged last time. I wonder what uh, what was different there. Did I just not do those, or is, am I in a different part? Doesn't feel like a different part. Well, I feel like I. I feel like I sort of covered that area. Maybe I missed something, but I feel like I once I started circling back around, I was good to go. gonna let that <laughs> go poorly. I was debating tonight whether or not I should there's some something called the uh, alcoholic adventurers cabal. It's the RPG actual plays for Uh, the Advanced After Combat Wargaming Podcast. And I've got a couple of games this week. Nope. Back to back, actually. Tomorrow night I've got Savage Worlds Homebrew of the Game Deus Volt from... Um... Man, who put that out? It's a... The Mongoose Publi Publishing? Anyway, so it uses the Legend system, which you can get, f I think, for like a dollar on drive through It's not really supported much anymore, unfortunately. Um, it's a an offshoot of, like, RuneQuest. For my money, it got replaced by Mithras. And Dice Vault was originally for that. It, it ports very well to Mithras. Mithras is a pretty natural, if you need a, a, a more actively developed system. Especially if you need one that has more prominent VTT support. Um, but... For better or worse... I've started to... I, I'm starting to feel the love for Mithras a little bit again, but I drifted away from it for a while. I think that's the fight. So if I'm gonna if I'm getting there, I need crafting. It's 
sleep pots. How many can I make? How many do I have total? Nine, okay. Let's get rid of that. 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 Um, anyway. I ended up doing a conversion of Day's Fault. Let's see if I can get this off in time. To Savage Worlds, which I th I thought went pretty well. Okay. Uh, the conversion, I mean. Um, I've been running five or six sessions. I think we're about to bring it to a close pretty soon. It depends on how much wrapping up they want to do. But with, you know, I use Foundry. You know, I'm sort of jumping all over, getting bits and pieces of the information you need. I use Foundry. And I, you know, I'm sort of an over-prepper, so I... I, you know, I went nuts. I made folders. I did all this kind of fancy. And that's not fancy at all. It's just organizational stuff. And then the switch from Foundry 10 to Foundry 11 kind of... It killed it for the better because... They now natively support, like, compendium folders and stuff like that, which you used to need a mod for. But... In order to get all my stuff back together, I sort of have to redo the folders. So it's this whole process where, like, I, I have the, the version 11 on my system. On my, on, like, on my server, so to speak. And then I have my version 10 on a different computer so I can at least see what the old folders were, looked like. Just gotta make sure. My fear is that there's another thing out here that's gonna jump me as soon as I deal with this guy. And I was like, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take to get some of the, uh... Hmm, I don't get down there. Maybe it's part after beating. Nope. What am I... Sp okay. Um, and, and I should... I was like, ah, oh, man. But at the same time, like, we might be about to finish for now, so... Do we really need those folders fixed for tomorrow night? And, uh, I don't know. So I was sort of debating, you know, should I get another session of this in? How long have I been going here? 45? Okay. I was trying to debate. Do I get another session of this in? Or do I do some prep? Will I have time tomorrow to do some prep? And I'm sort of like doing the push your homework off to the last minute, even though it's probably stupid. Um... The other thing is, like, once I wrap this up, you know, it might be a little while before I run Days of Alt again. So that sort of, it's all supporting the, you know, procrastination aspect of all this. two Savage Worlds things at the moment for the Alcoholics Adventure Cabal. Uh, the other one is sort of a riff on 2300 AD, and that was also surprisingly... 
I don't know if I needed to. Foundry has really good. Nope, this could kill me. Foundry has really good support for Traveler and um, Cepheus. Cepheus is what the official support for is, but you can sort of tweak it as needed to get it to where you want for Traveler 1st Edition, Traveler 2nd Edition. And so I don't think I needed to adapt Savage Worlds. It was partly curious, although Savage Worlds has good, good, it has interesting, if you, especially if you use the Seven Worlds campaign. You know what? How am I doing? Can I call him and let's just do it. I'm curious how this is going to go. You try and get over here and I think it Oh. I thought I was gonna... I thought I was gonna throw up like some golden fog gates and stuff and then make me, um... So if that's not it, where is it? This is definitely the room. Okay. <laughs> that went poorly. Love a steak, America. So I the the trick is you you knock one out and then maybe you just go to town on the other, and that's what I failed to do. Like knock knock out the fat one, and Tish and I go all nuts on the other one. Oh, come on. So, okay, so let's look at our... Nope. I don't need this. They're gonna throw black flame magic at me. I don't know... Is that holy? Is that, um... I have no idea. I gotta, oh, is this the problem? Is that you gotta get it from the other side? Or something? This is stupid. Um.
<laughs> I thought he was going to swing his sword. I would tank it and then counter. So I guess maybe that's like before the golden gates went up, you could drop into the room. Maybe that's the problem. Anyway, obviously I chose this for tonight. Nope. As I said, like, this can be relaxing in a way, and, you know, it's the end of a weekend. I don't know when this is going to go up, but... And uh, I figured, ah, I'll spend a little time with this, then before I crash and read a little bit more of the Savage World's rules. Uh, but yeah, the, the Traveler 2300 AD... Yeah, it, it was the space system from Seven Worlds that... The 2300 AD, just like Traveler, the rules are complicated. Um, they could be probably very fascinating. I don't know. Um, I've never gotten the chance to play them, but at the same time I was looking at them, I'm like, you know, I don't know if... And maybe it actually plays better than it reads. Not better. Smoother than it reads. But I was surprised just about um, how well Savage Worlds handle these two adaptations. I wish there was a Stake America. stuck on a something. Mostly the reason why is because I don't want to burn all of my... Ugh. I don't want to burn all of my um, stuff getting here. So that's the trick, you gotta get to the lower level. See if I can knock him out. There you go. Let's hit this guy. Where is he? What's Titch doing? <laughs> okay, that's what he's doing. So, yeah, I, I need to... I, I knocked him out, and then I totally whiffed on the other guy. So that's problem one. And problem two is I didn't go back around to make sure I kept problem one knocked out. I also need to craft more. Again, I just don't want to waste all my time, mostly my potions.
Oh, that's a damage anyway. Two potions down. out of here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go after the fat guy. Run right into everything. <laughs> He's still out. That's... <laughs> Pardon my French, but fuck you. <laughs> He's still out, though. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to let that roll go as long as it needs to. <laughs> just like, all right, it's not going to stop. I almost got one down there. And again, even if you get one down, it's not like... All that means is you're now doing one-on-one -on -one for a little bit. But then they just bring the second guy back in, I think. And you're just like, oh, okay. That's part of what's so stupid about it. Is that even when you beat one, it's not like Ornstein and Smo where you beat one and then... Even the other one, sure, he gets more powerful, but it's just the one, right? So that's part of what's so stupid about it. Get out of the goddamn... <laughs> trying to roll to the right, and it just sort of got staggered, I guess. What are we doing on... Okay. I'm, uh, you know, let me do this a little bit more, but then I might have to wrap this up and, um, pick it up another time. Okay, sorry, I thought he was down.
Can I keep him locked? Okay, he's down. Oh, the other guy's back up. So he's down. Let's get back in the business here. Whiff. Okay, so that's that, but that's not it, because now somebody else has to come back. Can I knock him out, though? Is he out? There we go. Oh, look at that. Does that get me... I'll have to find out. So that's the thing, right? Like, I was in this room, now you get a, a thing here so you can skip some of that. You can now cut through again like you could before. It's just like a... It's a weird... Or could you not get down here before? Just this weird... Gatekeeping that suddenly occurs. I don't know if I did... I got this guy. There's another guy. This might be bad. I don't even care. <laughs> I thought, yeah, it was down there. Like, didn't I? Hmm. I feel like there was somewhere here I sort of died stupidly. Well, I'm making progress, if nothing else, right? And I just checked, and I haven't been on mute the whole time, so this is going well. <laughs> and now I think one of those guys was about to th throw, like, a boomerang at me. You know, I <laughs> probably should spend those. What am I up to for 112? So I need 125-ish. Do I have 40,000? I might, actually. Okay, a little overkill. So yeah, so, uh, you know what, let's hand in that, um, bell bearing, and then maybe we call this one. I'm 
Maybe I'll check in with the smith. I, I know I picked up some some stones as well. So I'm looking for smithing stone eights. There we go. That's going to get my Uchi Katana up. Yeah, about two, right? Uh, ooh, how many do I need? I guess I'm just going <laughs> to go back and forth and back and forth because I don't know how many I actually need. Somber smithing stone. Yep. Hmm. Okay. What else is outstanding? I've got the weapon you get at the end of the game. I definitely want to bump that up. I don't know how many more somber smithing stone nines are out there. And I don't know how much more I'm going to use the bubble. So maybe I'll hold off. little moment there I um he's crafting this weapon I actually don't know what his weapon is I don't know if it's if it's something I'm just being dense about I see or I but I, I just do not recall he keeps talking about smithing a god slaying weapon I don't know what he's talking about I think this is, I, I have no idea anymore. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> like, why would you put one? Maybe, oh, was there a way like I could have opened that one up to be a shorter run to fight these guys? And I just missed it.
I don't want to do this. cannot recall where I died stupidly seeing an item on a platform. Nope. Is it up the other staircase? And maybe I just, um... It's down one of the tunnels that I avoided because I was just trying to beeline to the boss fight. I don't know why I'm fighting fair with these guys. I don't care. I'm just trying to see if there was a spot I blatantly missed because I'm recalling something. Yeah, here. Okay. I feel like if this guy is going to be pining for it, it might be worth grabbing. There we go. Oh, okay. It's not, not bad. Did I get it all? Probably not. Do I feel pretty good about that section? Yeah. So let me see if this is the right one to jump to and then, uh, <laughs> well, this is one of them. I don't know if this is the right one because I don't know where I'm supposed to go based on this, but let me, let me, um, head back up into the main room. And, uh, we'll start from there next time. Yeah, I'll go down that tunnel right there. So, all right, thanks again, and, uh, appreciate it. Bye-bye.